Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I, we were invited to a birthday party and I wanted to bring something cute along with us as a thank you and I made these zebra cookies. They're very simple to make and not, you don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen. I'm going to have the full recipe of all the measurements and ingredients in the description box below. So check that out for all of the ingredients. It's very simple, you just add in all of the wet ingredients first and then follow that up with the dry ingredient. So first I'm going to be adding in four large eggs as well as half a cup of vegetable oil and some vanilla. And then I'm going to be placing in two teaspoons of baking powder and giving that a very good mix. I'm adding in two cups of sugar and two cups of flour. After that's all mixed in, I'm going to be adding in one cup of good quality Dutch processed cocoa powder. If anyone is interested in the KitchenAid that I am using, I'm going to have it linked in the description box below as well. Now that everything is mixed, I'm going to be taking an ice cream scooper and scooping up the batter and placing it onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. I got four cookie trays out of this, so it makes a nice amount. But if you don't want them to be that small, you can definitely make these cookies larger. You will just have to bake them for a longer time. So once you scoop up the batter, you place that into some confectioner sugar and give that a good whirl to coat every single surface of the cookie and then roll it between your hands and place that on the cookie sheet. I preheat my oven to 350 degrees and place the cookies inside for 11 minutes. Now my first batch is in the oven cooking away. I'm going to be making the rest of it. And of course, whenever I'm cooking in the kitchen during the day, my kids get involved because why not? They're there, they're bored and they want to help out and it's a fun activity for them to do. So here are some of my kids having their turns, scooping up the batter and placing it on into the confectioner sugar. So once the cookies were done and out of the oven, I let them cool off for a bit and then placed them on a pretty and presentable platter. And this is what they looked like. They were gorgeous. They were so nice and chewy because I slightly underbaked them. So I kept them in at 11 minutes instead of for 12 or 13 minutes. So when they're nice and cool, they still have that chewiness in the center. They were just gorgeous and they were a huge, huge hit at the party. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new, I'd love it if you would subscribe.